Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Let me, let me pull this up. So go, go to my, um, go to my uh, computer, uh, my iPad, Henry. So Manu Raju, CNN, tweeted this, Representative Ilhan Omar in no mood to talk about her controversies this week. First she said, no thank you, when asked to comment on Trump saying she should resign. Second time I saw her, she yelled, are you serious? Mm. When I tried to question her. Now, others have said she wasn't yelling. But again, when you put this out, that she yelled, she snapped. Angry black woman. She snapped. Her, and she said, I've already addressed it. And she's moving on. But again, this is sort of, you know, what they focus on, as opposed to also what she actually does. And so this happened today. Ellen Abrams, of course, the man who was convicted to lying to Congress in the Iran-Contra scandal uh, has been uh, appointed to a new position. Now, today, Congressman Omar began to question him on some various issues. I'm going to play for you what took place on Capitol Hill. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be talking about when it comes to Rep Representative Omar. Thank you, Ms. Omar. Thank you, Chairman. Um, <clears throat> thank you all for being here, and thank you for your uh, testimonies. Mr. Adams, in 1991, you pleaded guilty to two counts of withholding information from Congress regarding your involvement in the iran Cortra affair, w for which you were later pardoned by President George H.W. Bush. I fail to understand uh, why members of this committee or the American people should find any testimony that you give uh, today to be truthful? If I can respond to that. Uh, um, it wasn't a question. Uh, I, it On was an that was it not was that was not a question. I that was not, I point, I reserve the right I'm to sorry. my time. It is not it is not right. That was members not a question. Can attack On February a 8th. Who is not permitted to reply. That. That was not a question. Thank you for your participation. On February 8, 1982, you testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee about U.S. policy in El Salvador. In that hearing, you dismissed as communist propaganda report about the massacre of El Mosote, in which more than 800 civilians, including children as young as two years old, were brutally murdered by U.S. trained troops. During that massacre, some of those troops bragged about raping a 12-year-old girl before they killed them. Girls before they killed them. You later said that the U.S. policy in El Salvador was a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you still think so? From the day that President Duarte was elected in a free election to this day, El Salvador has been a democracy. That's a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you think that massacre was a fabulous achievement that happened under our watch? That is a ridiculous question. and I Yes will or no? No. I, I will sorry, take, I will take that I'm, as a yes. I am not going to respond to that kind of personal attack. Which is not a question. Yes or no, would you support an armed faction within Venezuela that engages in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide, if you believe they were serving U.S. interest, as you did in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua? I am not going to respond to that question. I'm sorry. I don't think this entire line of questioning is meant to be real questions, and so I will not reply. Whether you, under your watch, a genocide will take place, and you will look the other way, because American interests were being upheld, is a fair question. Because the American people want to know that anytime we engage a country, that we think about <clears throat> what our actions could be, and how we believe our values are being fathered. 
That is my question. Will you make sure that human rights are not violated and that we uphold international and human rights? I suppose there is a question in there, and the answer is that the entire thrust of American policy in Venezuela <clears throat> is to support the Venezuelan people's effort to restore democracy to their country. That's our policy. I don't think anybody disputes that. The question I had for you is that the interest, does the interest of the United States include protecting human rights and include protecting people against genocide? That is always the position of the United States. Thank you. I yield back my time. Uh, Joseph, a few times uh, you are uh, about to come out your chair <laughs> as Abrams responded. Well, to, to the arrogance is just breathtaking. I mean, you know, to, to, I, I, I was thinking, number one, he doesn't really like being questioned by a woman who looks like her. Number two, he has a record, <laughs> a record in which this stuff is clearly established, that, that this is a very legitimate line of questioning. And number three, you have a woman who is a war refugee who you are disrespecting in front of the entire Congress. It's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. And I think that Abrams, if he has a, a, a shred of integrity, will, will take himself off for just that line of questioning alone. So the reality is he lied to Congress in the Iran-Contra scandal. What she hit him with, he actually did. He turned his back on human rights atrocities in those countries. It is undeniable. And to now go, I'm not even going to answer that question. That I don't even see how that's even relevant. Yes. What she is saying is, why are we going to send you to Venezuela when you have a track record of turning your back on human rights abuses? Doing the right I, I, that's kind of fair to me. No, I, th I think her line of questioning is fair. I, I'm, I'm confused, though, whether you're tying this with whether or not should she should have been censured or slash punished for obnoxious kind of childish tweeting. No, 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 hold on. Okay, no, wait a minute. No, no, hold on, stop, stop, stop. I just want to be hold sure on, one we're changing topics No, 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 first here. of all, of course, you know I, change, what I, mean? of course I change topics. Okay, all right. I just played a four and a half minute soundbite. I just played a four and a half minute soundbite. I get it. I'm asking, but, but I'm asking you. At the you, beginning, you said, well, the whole thing is a conspiracy to get her no, off this No, no, that's not what I said. No, no, what I, no, no, that's not what I said. Sue, You said the right wing media was wanting oh, to Sue, cover this. On, Sue, cover up this is what I said. No, Sue, you're wrong. First of okay. all, she's on the committee. Right. It has not been taken off. I get what it. I said is, is that media will be focusing on her tweets and not this exchange which I'm about to play. Right. That's what I said. All right. I know as exactly as what I said. I, let's, as Relevant. long as we're clear. Oh, no, no. I'm very clear. As long as I'm never clear. unclear. You know, the fact is that this man was so profoundly disrespectful of a member of Congress. That's what we have to deal with. She is a member of Congress. She was duly elected by her constituents. Whatever she tweeted is immaterial. She apologized for whatever. I don't, I would not have apologized, but that's another story. But here's the point. She is asking legitimate questions, legitimate questions about Abrams' track record. And he basically dissed her and, frankly, some of her colleagues should have jumped in and said, dude, answer the question. Sue, you're wrong. You she are so wrong. She said there wasn't Sue. a question. No, 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 no stop, stop, She did not stop. say it wasn't a question. Her, okay, hold on, hold on. She said on. there was a gonna, question. We're going to be factual. <laughs> she, her initial statement, she says, that was not a question, it was a statement. Later, she asked him specifically but, and said yes or no on two different occasions. Then she asked additional questions. Go. But Roland, the other thing is that he interrupted her and said that was not a question. She said, I haven't gotten to my question yet. Yes. That's what I'm talking about in terms of profound disrespect. It is customary in Congress for members to uh, bloviate before they go to the question. We've seen it I don't know how many times. You make your statement, then you ask a question. He did not give her the basic respect of allowing her to ask her question. He used white male privilege to essentially attempt to eviscerate her comment, her statement, and her presence, and that's just wrong. Well, first of all, the fact that Donald Trump would even, out of all the people out here in this world, that he would decide to to appoint somebody mm -hmm. yes. who was who admitted was convicted of lying to Congress and it required a pardon. That's the person who should never be serving 
in a U.S. foreign policy position again. And but that's but that's is, his how contempt. How did he get there? Who but picked him? Who, easy. Who, I mean, but but that's 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 Mr. Trump's contempt for Congress. It's his contempt who, for truth well, who, that we've we, seen we, we, for easy. the past two years. The, the same neocons uh, who have no problem with the United States meddling in other nations. I would not be surprised if John Bolton uh, was involved with this. And, and, and to her point, and she's absolutely right, whether we want to own it or not, if you want to, uh, you should actually uh, go look at Stephen Kinzer's book, Overthrow. The reality is this nation has indeed played a significant role in the overthrowing of numerous countries. The reason the Congo today is still struggling with democracy is because this country, shortly after it gained its independence uh, from Belgium, was responsible for the death of Patrice Lumumba, because we did not want him buying guns from the Russians, but we didn't want to sell them guns because they said we must protect our country. This nation, we know damn well what happened with Allende in Chile. We put Pinochet in control. We know exactly what happened with the Sandinistas. We know exactly what... This, we cannot deny the reality that America has overthrown other nations, and we say it for our interest and we didn't give a damn about the people in those countries. Well, not to mention the fact that the president of the United States has said on <coughs> multiple occasions military options are on the table in Venezuela. And let's, <laughs> he just, said so. let's just use a Venezuela word. also has some, some you know, U.S. mischief was involved well, in let's, Venezuela. Well, three-letter word, oil. Three-letter word, oil. That's so, all. I mean, <laughs> again, all I'm saying is this here. She's a member of Congress, and she had the right to question him, and it was his arrogance, Yes. his absolute arrogance, and unwilling and, and, and to say, I'm not going to answer that question. And that, to me, is where the chair, the ranking Democrat, who was the chair, should have said, sir, when you are asked a question by a member of Congress, you will answer, you will answer the question. They did not back her up, and that should have happened. Well, I think there's a common thread through all of this. I mean, if we go back to the Israel tweet, I mean, and to these, you know, to Abrams' uh, refusal to treat a member of Congress with respect, there's a thread here. I mean, it's, and, and the thread to me seems to be a bit of arrogance and, and racial animosity towards the for one of the first Muslim women to serve in Congress. I mean, it seems easy to me to see that, that you do have a, a, a member who, however inarticulately, she tweeted about her, her, her disrespect or her dislike of Israel-U.S. policy. She was roundly censured and yet there's still more pile on. Oh, hold on, hold on. stop, 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 stop. stop. No, 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 she's one, one second, stop, stop. Age, stop. First, Wait a minute. First, hold on, stop, stop. First, well, no, she wasn't censured. Well, not censured. You're wasn't absolutely censured. right. That's right. an actual process. That is correct. They, criti they, criticized, they criticized her, her and they made her apologize. Insisted that she apologize. Right, but she was, no, what'd you say? I said, is it, is it that she's Muslim or is it her age? Hell no, she's well, Muslim. Hell, hell no. I, it ain't got nothing to do with her age. Does any of that matter, but, but, quite frankly? It I mean, doesn't she's matter, a, but I'm saying the phrasing, the tweet, the reference to the Benjamins, it's a millennial. I mean, it's a... She's elected. Duly elected. I agree. I'm not saying... I'm just saying it's a disrespect coming towards her because she's young. We have to accept the fact that she was duly elected. I don't give a damn how young she is. All about the Benjamins. No, but no, but that's... All about the Benjamins. That is a problem. Disrespecting no, her because she's a Muslim woman, period. And they then, don't like having to face questions from her. And that, and I don't care how young she is. I don't care how young Ocasio-Cortez is. They got a pin, they were, they were elected, elected, and you give them the respect as a member of Congress. All right, folks, back to that whole my unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, a word for one of our partners. Are you desperate for a good night's sleep? Man, I should have done this last night because I could not go to sleep, uh, then listen up. Studies show lack of sleep causes stress, irritability, weight gain, and even early death. But you already know how bad it is when you don't get enough sleep. Uh, you try sleeping pills uh, with their annoying and potentially dangerous side effects. Uh, maybe you wasted money on the latest miracle pillow that promises a good night's sleep, but that's all BS. If you've done all of that, here's a solution. It's convenient, inexpensive, has zero side effects. So if you want to experience deep, restful sleep starting tonight, visit www.sleepmusic.com. Now, this weird little known trick is already helping thousands of people around the world experience better sleep, deeper rest, and happier mornings. And with a full 90-day money-back satisfaction guarantee, 
what have you got to lose? All you got to do is visit sleepmusic.com to see how this amazing sleep solution can help you. And they'll just use the promo code RADIO to get 10 bucks off. Just go to www.sleepmusic.com and use the promo code RADIO to get $10 off. And so, trust me, I'll be trying that tonight because uh, I ain't get much sleep last night. All right, buddy. now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. Thank you.